Hey guys, in this video we're going to be reviewing the Mercury Helios 650FX by OWC and in case you don't know, OWC, they're pretty much the number one brand to get Mac components from. I used them to upgrade my Mac Pro a couple of years ago and the quality of the products are very very good. And double points now, in case you don't know, Aikido Node, the people who kind of made the first eGP unit, they were recently bought out by OWC, so I have with me right here their eGP unit, it just came out earlier this year. And the headline of this, this GPU is that it is quiet. Now, I was a bit conspicuous, unsure on if this claim would be true, but however, take a listen for yourself. I have it paired up with a two meter Thunderbolt 3 cable. And the great thing about this unit is that it's 650 watts of power, so it can power Vega 64. Got Vega 64 running right there, although note, be careful about the addition of the cards you get because some of them are a bit too big. So refer to the manual to make sure that the cards you're getting will fit inside. So in Photoshop, when using rendering effects, for example, blurring or sharpening, I got about a 40% improvement in Final Cut Pro. I had 10 film grains running on the Vega 64 with no problems. Previously, the highest I could do was four on the Vega 16. Unreal Engine, I experienced a 4X bump in FPS. I went from 16 frames a second to over 70. And in gaming, the number one game that I don't play, Fortnite, went from three to four frames a second to 40 to 50 frames a second. So boom, shaka laka, you got yourself some performance gains there. One of the great things about this unit in which you won't find anywhere else is that it comes with a three year warranty. The Razer Core X is only one year. The Sonnet Breakaway Box is only one year. So this guy has three years, you get it, you're pretty much set for life. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the unboxing, what you get inside it, as well as how to set up yourself. So, enjoy the show. There you go, Mercury Helios FX650. Look at that. That says it's quiet. External GPU built to empower. You got a 650 watt power supply, whisper, quiet fan, Thunderbolt 3 with 100 watts of charge. You get a little slip. It sports Windows, it sports Mac, and you get the Helios, you get a Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you get an AC cable power supply. And these are the guys to set up, but don't worry, I'll be explaining exactly how to set up with you. There you go. First impressions, it's very light. That's what the front looks like. That's what the side looks like with a quiet fan. And this is the back. You get on off switch, power port and Thunderbolt 3 cable. And this is where the GPU will go. All right, to get it set up, unscrew the thumb screws. Pull it out, lift it up. Lift it up like that. Inside, you can see, that's the power supply, 650 watts. And this is the fan. Looks large and in charge, and the power supply has a big fan as well. And inside you get connector ties and a screw for your GPU. So now you've got the case off, what you want to do is remove the thumb screw which covers the back plate and then remove the PCIe back plate screws. Remove two back plates. And you wanna align the GPU onto the PCIe slot and then just press it down. I'm just gonna screw the graphics card in place. All right, and finally, gonna plug in the connectors. So here, these guys go into this little slot over here with a tap. So I'm gonna put the six and extra two pin connector in at the same time to make it an eight pin. Connects, and I'll get the second cable and I'll just be using the six pin for this one. And you can also hold down from the bottom of, gra of the graphics card when pushing in to make sure nothing moves out of place. So that's it, the graphics card is installed. 
And now let's put the case back on. And to do that, you just go the opposite way. So I've got this held outwards, the case held outwards. And I've got it angled upwards, plug the top bit in, then push it in from the sides. Kind of just like magically slots into place. Now that the case is on, you just finally use the thumb screws to screw it back in. So there you go, complete. So design-wise, this unit looks kind of like the Sonic breakaway box that you got with the original Apple eGPU developer kit. However, noise levels is significantly different. Obviously, it depends a lot on which graphics card you use. If you use one of these noisy reference card designs, uh, it's going to be noisy. But if you use something with a really nice thick heatsink, you'll have some pleasure. And if you pair it with a two meter Thunderbolt free cable, you know, happiness is gonna be due. And because this has a 650 watt power supply, it can actually pump 100 watts of power to your MacBook Pro. So you can throw away your power adapter that comes with it or sell it and you get $100 off. All right, one more thing that's good about this box is that it actually works with Windows Bootcamp. Caveat, of course, it depends on the graphics card you use and the Mac you use. So I've used it with a 15 inch MacBook Pro and there are some technical difficulties aside, but basically you plug in the GPU on the right and you can use USB ports on the left. If you try doing it the other way around, you might run into a bit of crashes, especially using AMD cards. But yeah, I got it running on Windows Bootcamp on my 15 inch. On my 13 inch, however, I struggled on Bootcamp, but that is a problem you get with any EGP enclosure out there. All right, my friends, what do you guys think of this eGPU unit? I personally think it's one of, if not the best eGPU enclosures you can get. If they made it slightly more bigger, it would be almost perfect. Hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know what you think. I do believe it's your go. You're welcome.